Okay, here's another uh, mixture uh, problem. A small vat contains 48 liters of a 5% sulfuric acid solution. How much pure sulfuric acid uh, should be added to make a solution that is 24% pure sulfuric acid? So this is when we're going to in, uh, increase the concentration. And we had uh, when we were going to dilute. Now this we're going to kind of increase the concentration. So we've got... Um, a 5% sulfuric acid solution, so that's what we're going to start with. And we've got 48 liters, so this is the amount that goes in there, so you want to maybe write that down. So the value at uh, 5% must be 0 0.05, and I've got 48 liters. So fill that in. And we want to add pure sulfuric acid, so pure sulfuric acid, pure. And that's going to be 100%. So the value of that would just be 1, 100% 1. or 1.00. And we want to know how much we're going to be adding to that, so we can call that X. And we want to end up with a solution that's 24%. So that value would be 0.24. So how much are we going to have? Well, we're going to have the original 48 liters plus the pure sulfuric acid we had, so these would add down. So the amount of the 24% solution I'm going to have will be X plus 48 liters. So these add down. Remember, they multiply across. And, and the order that you put them in the table is doesn't really matter. In other words, we could put the values in, the value, the value, this amount, and then this is the only two boxes we need. So the two, two boxes in red were the ones that we really had to do our work for. Everything else you could just write down right away just by from the problem. In other words, read the problem, you can write all that down, and then check those out. Then once you have those two boxes, we just multiply across. And actually, yeah, the first box we can multiply across. So we have point, excuse me, zero five times 48. So all that you could have done just by reading the problem. And then you just have to fill in these two boxes. And once you have those, now you can multiply across. And we've got 1.00 times x. And these add down. And this would be 0 0.24 times x plus 48. And there's your equation. Now rather than writing 1x, I wrote 1.00x, because you can see when we remove these decimals, we want to multiply every term by 100, so move the decimal point two places to the right. Sometimes students will forget that and not change this one. So let's write down our equation. Okay, so 0 .00, times 48 plus 1.00x equals 0.24 times x plus 48. And then I'll multiply every term by 100. So I'll move the decimal point two places to the right. So we got 5 times 48 plus 100 times x. See, this is the one you got to be careful because if sometimes if you just put out x there, Sometimes you forget to multiply that by 100. And that equals 24 times x plus 48. And then we get our calculator out. Now, actually, this isn't too bad because 5 times 8 is 40. Carrier 4. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4 is 24. So sometimes you can do that in your head. But calculator just to play safe. And we got 24x. And 24 times 48, yeah, I would have to calculate this out, and we get 11.52. Then I'll try to get all my x's on the same side, so I'll subtract 24x from both sides, and I'll do these each step. Sometimes I do this in one step, but... But we do have a little more time, so I can... Splurge. So that's going to be 76x equals 1152. 
Then I'll subtract 24x from both, I'm sorry, 240 from both sides. And I end up with 76x. Oops, I'm running out of room here, sorry about that. <clears throat> 76x equals, and if I subtract 240 um, from 1152, I end up with 912. I'll divide both sides by 76. And x goes in there exactly, believe it or not, 12 times. So it's going to be 12 liters is how much I want to add. How much pure sulfuric acid should be added to make a solution that is 24% pure sulfuric acid? 12. Okay. So 24% of, well, 12 plus 48 is 60. Okay, 24% of 60. Okay, that's how much sulfuric acid we'll have. Okay, if you're interested. Okay, so again, the use of these tables is, makes it very easy because it's just a way for you to organize your data. And again, we're always dealing with the amounts of some substance. In this case, it's sulfuric acid. This is the amount of sulfuric acid we started with. This is the amount we had. Okay. Or this the amount of sulfuric acid we're adding. Okay. And this is the total amount of solution we have. And we want 24% of that to be equal to this plus this sulfuric acid. Okay. So think about it. And hopefully that will make sense. And again, try these on your own. And then you can try some of the other examples from the worksheet we pass out in class.